Hi farm friends, my name's Georgia from Grow My Goodness here in the beautiful Bay of Plenty, New Zealand. It's early January here and we're in the peak of our growing season. The garden is looking fantastic and I'm going to show you guys the area that we worked on a little over two months ago. We started off with very weedy lawn just like this and transformed it into this stunning no dig flower bed. Let's go. Just two months ago on the 3rd of November, I made a video uh, in celebration with Charles Dowding's No Dig Day, where you can see us building these beds. We decided to make this area all of our flower production, and I'll run you through a few of the flowers that we've got here. So we've got our beautiful zinnias, which are just starting to flower now. They're probably another week, a uh, couple of weeks away from their peak production, but they do look beautiful in little posies. We've also got our celosia here, um, uh, amaranthus, Amobium, these are all really good for drying. So we'll probably be using some of this for our fresh posies and we'll put some away to dry to have flowers over winter. We've got a full bed of just gorgeous cosmos, some status, lisianthus, and our most recent planting of sunflowers here, which are gonna be ready in a couple of weeks. So this whole journey of market gardening started about two years ago just over here in our first plot so let's go and check it out. The first eight beds here are actually all flowers. We've got one row of our snapdragons here and the rest are all sunflowers at kind of varying stages. These beautiful dark Moulin Rouge sunflowers um, you can see are still blooming. However, it is a branching variety, um, so they kind of keep on going. They're actually ready to come out and have something new go in. Our preferred varieties of sunflowers are definitely the Pro Cut, just a single stem. It's in and out much quicker than the branching varieties, but we just couldn't stay away from that color this year. Zucchinis, this is our first time actually growing zucchinis and we just sold our first zucchinis on Friday at the market. I was really hoping that I would get to try one but of course they all sold. However, that one looks pretty good. I'm probably going to have to put one aside for myself. Carrots, got quite a few carrot beds um, at the moment because Last year we did not have enough carrots at all, so we definitely upped the uh, carrot production. Beetroot, selling really well at the moment. Uh, a bit of our perpetual spinach, it was interplanted uh, with turnips and those have all come out now, so a bit of spinach here. This will keep growing, so I'm probably going to be planting more to try and fill in these gaps. Here are our turnips and the last of the cabbages of the season. Broccolini is something we have been trying to grow for a while now with little success. It's all bolted, gone to flower here. We did have, uh, it was growing well for a while, but the summer heat, it's just gone to flower. So this is all going to be coming out. What we were doing with it, is it looks like this and it's actually beautiful and really tasty and it does sell well but for the space it's taking up these whole two beds some weeks I would only get like, like less than 10 small bunches of broccolini so it's just not worth it for us so unfortunately this is leaving the market garden but we've got an idea of what we might be looking to replace it with I've just done two new sowings here yesterday, some more carrots, some more of our Tokyo white turnips. Celery and spring onions here. First time growing celery, not our first time growing spring onions. 
we didn't have the spring onions interplanted last time so we're trying the interplanting this time to see how they go tomatoes last year we grew all the large beefsteak varieties of tomatoes and this year we've done all cherry plum sized tomatoes and we've just picked our first ones a couple of days ago We've grown a variety of different shapes and colors and sizes, and they just are gonna look beautiful in a mixed punna of tomatoes. We picked our first tomatoes just a couple of days ago, and we took two punnets to the market. They sold straight away. We've, we've got about 100 plants here, and they're all starting to um, ripen. So we're gonna have a lot better numbers next week cucumbers here we've got two different varieties of cucumbers this year um, a slightly smaller kind of lunchbox variety and a pesca cucumber paxa pesca i'll put the details in the description box of the tomatoes and the cucumber varieties that we grow because these cucumbers have been really good just in the past two days We've probably picked at least 40 cucumbers. I'm really excited about our lettuce production this season. We've got two beds of lettuce. We started off with just one. Our second bed has just started producing really well. And on Friday, just a couple of days ago, we actually picked and packed about 50 bags of lettuce. It's looking really good. We're getting great feedback on it. We've got lots of work to do still on our wash and pack processes but I'm going to be releasing a series of videos really soon because we're getting all of that set up this summer. A few more beds of carrots here. These carrots are just starting to come on now. We've probably grown close to five different varieties of carrots searching for the perfect carrot variety and this one is probably at the top at the moment. This is the Samantha F1. It's very straight, very uniform, a good length. It comes out really nice as a baby carrot, but also um, we can leave them and let them get a little bit bigger too, which is always nice if you want a bigger carrot. So this is, is the current favorite, is the Samantha F1. We have got two more beds of carrots planted, another two new sowings done yesterday here. This is beetroot and radishes. This, these are the radishes that I'm growing here. We've got two different varieties. The red cherry, which is just a very nice red, round, very mild radish. And then our new variety. Ah is the French breakfast radish which is a little bit more cylindrical it's got a more pale white top to it and it's a little bit hotter it has a little bit more of a kick to it so it's nice to have that option for people and they look really beautiful on the table at the market rainbow chard here really easy to grow this one kale we just bunch these up and they look fantastic on the table. We've got sunflowers. These ones are actually just starting to burst. Come and look at this one. These ones are actually the Pro Cut Plum. And so this is the first of this variety just starting to bloom now. More sunflowers probably opening later this week and the magnificent Moulin Rouge probably due to come out now they're all blooming away but we prefer to sell these more at this stage when the petals are just starting to lift so there's still a few in here but these are just about finished we've got some more flowers our dahlia tubers they're over in a different area of the property let's go check them out we planted out our dahlia tubers in October. Uh, we're now early January, so they've 
come to life in full bloom and they're looking really beautiful. It was just after our Christmas holiday and we came home and suddenly they were all in bloom. It was just stunning. We've started picking these and putting them into posies for our markets and they sell really, really well. Um, I'll leave a link to the video of us planting out these tubers in the description box down below because in that video I also talk about the varieties that we have planted. Well, that's it for this video today, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.